These are a set of tutorials on getting started with GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we look at the parts of the GeoGebra window, and we learn how to use the New Point and Move tools. I'm Linda Fulbrick Stoyanovska, and my website is at math247.pbworks.com. Remember, GeoGebra is free for everybody. Get it at geogebra.org. Step one is to open GeoGebra. Find the GeoGebra icon on your desktop and double click on the icon. So here is the default GeoGebra window. I've made it, the font a little bit bigger so it's easier to see and I have moved the axis towards the bottom left. But other than that, it should look just like your window. Up at the top is the title bar, like all Windows applications. It has the name of the application, GeoGebra. When we save our file, the name of the file will be here. And over here at the right, we have Window Commands. Then we have the menu bar, sometimes called the command bar, because it has the commands has the typical commands for Windows, but of course the commands inside of the commands are commands for GeoGebra. In this MathCast, we're only going to be using two commands from the File menu, Save and Close. And now we get to the heart of GeoGebra. The heart of GeoGebra is the toolbar. That's this one right here with all these tools. And there's many more tools inside because each of these arrows open. So let's look at like one like this. If we click on the arrow, notice that there's many more tools inside. These are the types of tools and the most used tool from that type. Okay, how do you know which one is active? You look at where the blue square is, and you can look over here to see which tool is active. So right now the Move tool is active. You can see that here. Now, there's two parts down here in this window. There's what's called the Algebra View over here at the left, the Algebra View. This is where we're going to see the algebra of the mathematics we do. And the Graphics View, or, or what, all, what is also called the Drawing Pad. We can actually close the Algebra View. You can never close <laughs> the Drawing Pad. That's because this is the part you really want to use all the time. And so we have the Algebra View and the Drawing Pad. And down here at the bottom, we have what's called the Input Bar, where we can type in more complex mathematics than perhaps we can find from the Toolbar. But we're going to be using the Toolbar today. And let's see what we can do at the beginning. Let's start by turning on the grid. So how do we do that? We move our pointer over into the Drawing Pad anywhere. And now right click, so we press on the right mouse button, we get a drop down menu and it shows us that we're in the drawing pad drop down menu. And look here, it says the axes are on. See that, that check mark? That means the axes are on and indeed here they are on. And it says the grid is off, there's no check mark. So what we do is when we get that blue to shine, we click and the grid will come on. Let's try turning it off again. So right click anywhere in the drawing pad. Now we can see that the grid is on. It has a check mark. Click and the grid goes off. Now we want the grid on, so let's turn it on. So right click and go to grid, click and left click and turn the grid on. If I use the word click, that always means left click. If it's Okay, so now we have the grid behind here. Let's draw a point. So we currently have active the Move tool. Let's go to the New Point tool, click on it, not on the arrow, click on the, the tool itself. Now that's the active tool there. So we go over here to the drawing pad and I want to show you something interesting about and useful about GeoGebra. Notice that when we get close, you see the crosshairs, when we get close to a grid point, see we're not on that grid point too, too. But GeoGebra assumes that if we're close to a grid point, we want the grid point. So we don't have to be really, really exact. GeoGebra will help us. So 
let's draw a point at 1, 1. So we get close to 1, 1, and now we see it's 1, 1. And as long as it says 1, 1, when we click, that's the point we'll get. So let's click, and notice it's 1, 1, 1, 1. So what you, what you see is what you get. OK, so we have a blue point with a capital A. Geogebra is case-sensitive. After you've gotten burned a few times, you will remember the sentence, Geogebra is case-sensitive. It's very useful that it's case-sensitive, but a little, a little bit annoying at the beginning, shall we say. So a little a is not this object. This object's name is capital A. <laughs> OK, now let's look over here. We see in the drawing pad the point and its label. Now let's look over here in the algebra view. It says that the point A is exactly 1, 1, and that it's a free object. That means it doesn't depend on any other object. In this lesson, we're only going to create free objects. In the next lesson, we're going to create a dependent object. OK, so a free object can be moved. Let's move this point. So we go to the Move tool. If we leave it on this point and we try to click on here, we'll get a new point. We go to the Move tool. Activate the Move tool, blue square. Now let's go down to A. And notice that when we get there, it glows. Glowing means the geographer knows that that's the object we want. So we go until we glow and left click and hold down because we're going to drag. So click and drag. Now I'm going to move slowly. You look over there at the left, and you will notice that the coordinates are changing, right, as I move it around. Let's move it down to 3, 1. And when we get close to 3, 1, it should like kind of go popping. Yeah, did you see it pop? Popped over to 3, 1, and we'll let it go. So now A is 3, 1. And A doesn't depend on anything, so if I want to, I can click and drag it some more and move it, right? So now we'll leave it at 3, 1. Now let's make another new point. To make another new point, we have to go back to the New Point tool. Click to activate it. In your window, it will say Point over here. Because I'm working in such a small window, there's not enough space, so it doesn't want to write that. Let's make a new point at 1, 2. So we get to 1, 2, and click. There it is, 1, 2. And notice it's blue because it is also a free object. These two objects are not dependent on each other. So we can move them separately. If you want to move them, though, remember to go to the Move tool and then Move. Click it and drag it. And notice A doesn't move. A is independent of B. I think that's what we wanted to do in this one. Let's save it and close it. So we go to File, Save. You might want to save it in a special folder called Geographer. So if you're in My Documents, you can right click and you'll get New Folder. And then click on that once to make it blue and click again once so that you can change the name. And type Geographer. All right, let's open that folder by double click. Now we're in the Geographer folder. Let's call our file Two Points. So we come down to File Name and click and type Two Points and click on Save. Notice that up in the title bar is the name of our file. We're done, so click File and all the way down at the bottom, Close. That's it. This was the first tutorial in getting started with Geogebra. I'm Linda fallbrook Stianowska. All of my Geogebra and other math resources are at math247.pbworks.com. Remember, Geogebra is completely free for everybody who is using it for non-commercial purposes. This MathCast was produced with Camtasia Studio. Feel free to give it away. Give any of my materials away, but please do not sell them. <laughs>